Hey, I'm Gavin Bailey. I am at Song Trader Studios here in Los Angeles, and today we're doing an interview for the Conscious Artist Spotlight here at Song Trader. So I just released a new single called Grass Is Never Greener, and that's uh, the third single from my album. And um, it's a song about just being happy with what you have and accepting what you have and kind of not going through life always wanting more because that's a, a very dangerous mindset to be in and um, easier said than done but it's um, I think it's a song that everybody can relate to and um, so Numb Me Bad was the second song I released and it was uh, a very vulnerable song for me because that was a song that I the first song I really wrote about my struggle with mental health and um, I was very hesitant about putting that song out for a really long time and I kind of just like put on a blindfold and like clicked release when I put that song out because I was so nervous of what the reaction was going to be but it's been incredible and so many people have related to it and it's I I feel like it's so important to be vulnerable and if I have the platform to do it and to to spread a message of you know, that it is okay to feel that way and there is a way to get help. Like, I thought, you know, why not? So being three years old, I, um, I mean, I was a very sick kid. I uh, was born with kidney failure and had a transplant when I was two and a half. And so music is kind of all I had at that point. A lot of, um, a lot of people would bring me instruments in the hospital and like that was just something that always got my mind off of what was going on. When I was about 13, I started noticing uh, myself becoming very depressed. But as years went on, I started developing incredibly bad anxiety and these, you know, depressive episodes lasted longer and longer. It was really scary for me and um, I didn't know where I was going to end up. And so at a point when I was like 14, I remember there being a, you know, a bottle of, of pills in the, in the cabinet and I was at this point of feeling like I just couldn't feel anymore. Like I needed something to take the edge off. I was like, what can I do to like make me feel better? And that was obviously not the healthiest way to do that, but that was what I knew at the time. So when I was 16, I ended up uh, checking myself into treatment and I went in for 30 days into a residential treatment center. And that was the first time that I really realized like I do have an issue with, with mental health. And I do, it's not just me going through a hard time as a teenager, like these are things that are real and they're not things that I'm making up in my head and I needed more than just talking to a friend I needed more than just going to therapy I needed medication like I needed antidepressants I needed anti-anxiety medications and that saved my life of course it's still a taboo subject for a lot of people that you know don't believe in taking medications but for me it was a life and death decision I had posted something on Instagram kind of just saying like what was going on and just being open with with my my followers of like what's going on in my life and I'm going to treatment and I'm getting help and you should too if you need it. I started working with Chalk um, Children's Hospital of Orange County so they saw this post and had reached out to my mom and um, they told her that they were doing a mental health initiative and opening up a, a mental health wing at their uh, at their hospital in Orange. They asked if I would be interested in being a part of, you know, reaching out to people and just telling them that there is help here, uh, you know, there in Orange County and using my platform as, as a way to, to help other people going through the same thing. That was, you know, an incredible experience just getting to see like this mental health wing like come to life and see you know the staff in there and like everybody just you know celebrating this like victory and so being a part of that it's just like I never thought that I could be a part of something like bigger than myself and and that's I don't know it feels good. A lot of people would say like going into the music industry with what I deal with is not the best idea um, but it's something that I like I don't know anything else, you know, music is all I know and there's nothing else in my life that I could do. I think Song Trader is such 
an awesome company because there are artists that don't have the connections necessarily to make their careers what they want. And I feel like this, this industry is such a know somebody industry to get somewhere. And I think that like the platform that Song Trader has here, it just, it reaches out to every independent artist that wants their music to be heard and to push it out to as many people as possible, whether that's in TV or film or distributing, you know, on, on digital uh, platforms. But um, yeah, I think, it's amazing that what, what uh, you guys are doing here.